there was a bargain bin at the depot, and <laughs> they there was no boxes. And so you would go in and, you know, l- working on a limited budget at the ripe old age of uh, 18 to 22, uh, you had to go – you tried to stretch your dollar as far as you could. <laughs> and so they and had your, this basket. And your wiener. <laughs> <laughs> And so um, there was this bargain bin, and it was all, I think, porns that they, in this place, rented porns, by the way. And so these were all porns that I think had been rented to extinction. Uh, the box had deteriorated. And so they were, it was like $5 a video. And so we were all rooting through, and everybody was like, all right, these look like the three best titles. And it was like Pornocopia. I can't remember what the other one was called. And then Getting the Shaft. <laughs> and so not necessarily knowing uh to me and you guys can correct me if i'm wrong getting the shaft seems like a pretty i don't know universal term because uh, at the time i was like man he must be really getting in there deep <laughs> because she is getting the shaft however fine getting home not having a box lid, by the way. Not seeing any still frames from getting the shaft. I quickly learned that getting the shaft uh, is apparently a term used fluidly inside the gay community. <laughs> <clears throat> so you, it was a rather disappointing evening uh, getting home uh, from the old depot. And uh, eventually I did try to... Um, have I, I, I swear I've told this story. So long long time going this kid ryan we know ryan uh he really wanted a porn he wasn't 18 yet i said yeah man i got this porn for you and just br- just show up with 20 bucks and i'll sell it to you this sounded like a good idea I- at the time and ryan never showed up with his 20 dollars, so i just kept it inside this compartment in my car and one night we're at a party and uh this guy joe was in the car and somebody's like yo we should watch some porn Anybody got some porn? Of course, I keep my hand down. And eventually, Joe's like, Murr's got one in his car. So he goes out to my car, grabs getting the shaft, puts it in the VCR at a full-on high school party. And, uh, yeah, I'm branded as the guy who watches gay porno uh, essentially for the rest of my life. All the way to the point where I'm on a podcast in the year 2020, and Wes has me tell the story. (laughs) I thought... I thought... (laughs) From what I heard, you, when you were trying to defend yourself, you were like, it's a, it was a blank box. It wasn't like it said butt cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, wor- the, still the worst still part, important. The worst <laughs> part is, and I, give me a second here, is how long I ended up watching it. Because I put it in, and there's two dudes. And I'm like, oh, they're really going to get her. <laughs> 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 and so the, the fireman is slowly taking off his fireman's jacket and the police officer is slowly taking off his policeman uniform but no nurse ever showed up 